Hey guys, you know, whenever I was a kid, I always thought about, you know, like these crazy situations where, you know, like I, all of a sudden, you know, like I'm at, at school and, you know, like we have a hostage situation, right? And then I'm like, I'm there, you know, I'm, I'm like 12 years old and I'm like, look, you know, like take me instead, right? I'm, I'm always, yeah, I've always thought about these crazy situations where, you know, like I could like give my life for somebody else, you know, like I, I, I would do that. I would, I would die for that. And a lot of us, I think a lot of us have that like mindset sometimes of like, yeah, you know, like I would, I love my kids so much. I would die for them. And more and more that you think about it, the, the harder thing to do is to live for them, to live every single day, giving up the sacrifices ta it takes in order to, to be better. Guys, I, I think, you know, like, you know, we, we all just kind of have this idea that this, you know, like this death, you know, dying for someone, having, like, it's just one moment, right? It's one moment where you make one choice and you get to say, oh, yeah, you know, like, this is, this is for my love, right? This is my love for you or for people or for God or for whatever. And then all of a sudden, you know, like, you don't get that opportunity, and here's the thing, though. I think that if we had that opportunity, a lot of us think that we would do it, but we wouldn't. Because even though, you know, like, we, we obviously know that living for God or living, you know, like, every day making the sacrifices is a harder thing. You know, like, we still, you know, like, we, it, it's what, that's what preps us for that moment whenever we would have to give our life. You know, like we see, you know, like it, Paul says that to, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Why would dying be gain? Because if you're living the life that God's called you to be living, then it's going to require sacrifices. It's going to require you stepping outside of the things that you're comfortable with. It's going to require more. And because of that, death, death is almost a relief a release and a relief from all of this sacrifice that living actually is. If you really see your purpose here on earth cannot be, you know, it can't be obtained on the other side of death. You get released from all of the things that you're called to do here on earth through death. And, you know, like there's, that's to have great gain because you'd be with God, right? But to live to live as Christ, to live as a sacrifice, to live is this idea that I'm going to get up every morning and I'm going to say, God, what can I do for you today? And I'm going to like, go through my day and I'm going to do things that I don't want to do. I'm going to talk to people that I would rather not. And whenever it comes down to it, that can be hard. But you know what? If you love God, you know, like you wouldn't just die for him. You would live for it. So as you go through your week, your weekend, just do you, what do you love enough that you would live for? That you would live so uncomfortably in order to just show your affection. Thanks for taking a minute.